on Lisa's show. I am wearing a ready to wear Golden Girls t-shirt today. It's been a long day, it's been a long week, and the week has flown. So I don't really have much Friday Sews inspo video for you. I, I'm, I don't know, I don't have much. I've done some shopping, I've done a lot of work, and I'm, I did make a t-shirt dress for my niece. I will, not much of a big deal, it's a simple short sleeve t-shirt dress and it was a free pattern that I turned uh, into a dress. So I will make a video on that uh, probably this weekend. I did however get a couple of hours off and this morning I spent with my nieces. We went to Joann's to get fabric so I could make them each another dress because school's on the way. The younger one who likes the woven uh, tank style dress, very simple. She's a simple minded girl. Uh, she picked, I will say, at Joann's, if you've never been to Joann's, they have, when most of the Joann's I've been in, every Joann's I've been in, you start off with quilting cottons, there's some apparel fabrics, and then you'll end up with, well, you'll knit apparel. And then you will end up, uh, it'll be bridal costume and then upholstery or home decorating fabric. She immediately ran to the costume, fab uh, the costume fabric aisle and picked out something that was uh, reminiscent of mermaid scales. <laughs> Metallic and all and uh, a pleather feel, very thick, thicker than denim and demanded her dress be made out of that. So I had to say no. And she was very upset because I was letting the other niece pick out whatever they wanted. Uh, they did pick out a t-shirt fabric. So after strong negotiations, we got a nice, very lightweight quilting cotton. It, it is actually very, it, it feels like a poplin, but it is a, in their quilting cotton section, but this has a really soft feel and it does have a little structure. So I would say it's very similar to a, a poplin. And this is the fabric she picked out. So I got a yard of this for her. It's cool, very cool. And I'm glad it's still with the purple colorway because I have tons of purple and fuchsia snaps that will work for her dress. Yep, this is Keepsake Calico from Joann's. So it's a really nice feel. The other niece, I'll make her a t-shirt dress out of double brush, double brushed poly. She's the one that's um, a rock star in the making. She's got a band. She picked out, I got more than I needed just because I thought if there's enough, I probably could just make her plain t-shirt out of this too. But this is a double brushed poly. I think it's from their Galleria line. And it is snake skin, but it's like a mauve snake skin. So her dress will be like this. It's very soft. She fell in love with the thickness and the softness of it. She, I will happily make her short sleeve t-shirt dress out of this. And if there's enough left, um, a tank top or just a plain t-shirt as well. Cause I think she'll really enjoy that. And then I came home and I took a shower, put on my Golden Girls t-shirt and Jamie pants and everybody's having a pajama party that I did not get a chance to participate in, which is cool. Sometimes there's too many challenges on Instagram and um, Facebook and YouTube. And I can't do them all. And I don't think I, I can handle that pressure right now. Our fair, all my fair items are going to be due at the county fair next week on Wednesday. So this weekend is going to be a very stressful weekend because I do have to make a, cu a couple of things. I wanted to get some sewing done. I have a pattern uh, for a dress, a mock wrap dress out of some bottle green gingham I got from Minerva that I already have cut out and waiting for me, but I don't have any white bias tape and I think I could make bias tape out of the scraps, but Part of me wants to just get plain white bias tape for the neckline just because it's a, well, because it's a mock uh, wrap. So there's going to be bias tape here 
bias tape here and then the armholes. But because of that, I don't want too many layers of gingham up on each other. So I think that white might be a good idea. We'll see. If I get a chance, I'll go back and get some bias tape. Or I'll hit Walmart. They have it actually a lot cheaper. What else? What else? If you have Amazon Prime, please check out Clarkson's Farm. I I found it genuinely entertaining and it is basically I feel like I went through all that like 25 years ago and my parents bought the farm they live on now that they don't farm they did rent it out to a farmer but when I was in college and they bought land and they built their houses my dad and my uncle lived next door to each other and they each had a big parcel of land it was it was very similar to what Jeremy Clarkson went through with his first year of farming, except Jeremy Clarkson's rich. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson had a thousand acres and my family had 60. And uh, he had no budget. And so I feel like it is just very reminiscent of that. And it so maybe it touched me in a way that it might not touch everybody. But it's a great it was it's so entertaining I want to rewatch it I can't wait for season two to come out and see how the next year goes there's a moment in this show and I don't want to give too much away but there's a moment where he has a backhoe what we call a backhoe and he's sliding uncontrollably down a hill freaking out and I it's burned in my brain my father did the exact same thing but he tipped his and the window blew out and the glass was everywhere and I remember my sister and I seeing it happen and not our thoughts was is dad okay our thoughts was let's get our camcorders because this was in the 90s let's get our camcorders and go out and see what happened so I, somewhere is a, is a videotape an old school VCR videotape of the aftermath of what happened so it just rings a bell and he went you know down from going to the auction to auction to buy a livestock did all of that and it's kind of like I don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna try it so good props I loved that show check it out if you have extra time the other thing that I've been watching a lot on YouTube is the last homely house east of the sea the woman's name is Kate and she lives up by Hadrian's Wall in the UK and it is her YouTube channel is delightful she has thousands and thousands of subscribers so I'm late to the game on that and I'm enjoying watching hers and she does a lot of quilting and English paper piecing which is a method of quilting very cool I actually think I could do that I've not tried to quilt yet but I am really digging her YouTube channel and I tend to wake up in the middle if I wake up in the middle of the night and can't fall back asleep I will put her channel on and she talks about all things in her life and she runs her channel in a different way than a lot of people do and then I really do enjoy it and her voice is very calming and soothing she is a fan of Hercules candies which is another YouTube channel and that's about a candy fact a candy company a family-owned candy shop where they make their own chocolates and candies in Syracuse, New York. That has been very enjoyable as well. Those are what I've been watching. I've been working and I don't think I've been doing much more of anything else except now I'm going to be working on some sewing projects and I hurt my finger. I don't know how I did it. I woke up and my finger is in ridiculous pain. So I must have slept funny and I can feel it. I might take some ibuprofen and see if that helps. So yeah, yeah. I missed my social Zoom with the Beyond the Pink Door girls. That was a, not fun for me uh, yesterday, but there was a lot of work and a lot of challenges with work this week. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Otherwise, I have nothing else. So not so much Friday sews, but Friday life. 
I hope everyone's doing well and I do look forward to while I'm sewing or making my peanut brittle this weekend or cleaning the house to catch up on some awesome Friday sewists and some of my favorite vloggers. If you're around on Sunday, uh, Sunday 1 p.m. Central, Beyond the Pink Door does their live stream. I'm, I always try to catch it if I can, even if I can catch part of it and see what her new fabrics are, and it's very tempting always. That is all I have to report today. Have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to talking soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.